Okay, so I just started this anime named Monster, and for some reason while watching the first episode, I thought about making this video. So here I am, I'm going to be using the best follow-up attack team in Honkai Star Rail currently. That team does consist of Dr. Ratio, Topaz, Aventurine, and Robin. So currently as we do have Dr. Ratio being practically the hardest hitting single target character in the game, Topaz is the follow-up enabler, Aventurine is the sustain now, especially since he has a follow-up attack, he is perfect for this team, and Robin is the best follow-up support. So I'm going to be using this on MLC 12, maybe MLC 11 just because they are weak to imaginary and there are two imaginary characters here. I'm also going to take it through Pure Fiction just for fun and see how the team runs. I will have a disclaimer now that I'm not proclaiming that mine is the best team in the entire game. I'm sure there is some crackhead out there that has every character here E6, S5. I'm just saying unit wise this is the best one. But yeah before I get to the video drop a like, drop a sub, let's get straight into it. So first let's start, let's just knock out the builds right now. My Dr. Ratio does not have breakpoint speed but he's at 55, 193. Does have a signature light cone, does have back traces except the basic but who cares about the basic. 4 piece pioneers, 2 piece on the inner Sosato, as I do have crit damage, speed, attack percent, and attack percent. He is also at E0, obviously. Topaz, a lot of speed, 87, 125, made it more consistent rather than damage. Signature light cone, skill is the only one at max because it's the one that makes other people do more damage. Full piece follow up set with 2 piece inner Sosato is at E1, does have crit rate, speed, fire damage, and attack percent. Goat Venturing. Obviously, this build 4,000 defense, practically exact, little over 200% crit damage, over breakpoint speed, S5 light cone, max traces, have the 4 piece pioneers, crit damage, speed, imaginary orb, and defense percent, and he is E6. And as for Robin, Robin does have 123 speed, almost like just a little over 4,100 attack, does have traces maxed, signature light cone. I am rocking two pieces of the Dasa and two pieces of Musketeers with the Fleet of the Ageless, and she is E0. Alright, well, let's get straight into it. So as you are seeing this video, you probably have seen videos where I already use this team. That was after I made this video, in fact. So, not too much knowledge on this team just yet. We didn't get the Venture roll twice, that was kind of sad. Gonna go ahead and try to get this guy out of the way right away. Annoying guy. I don't really like the whole idea of like you have to weak display them to do any form of damage. It's kind of annoying, but what can we do? Not weak to fire, so sadly Topaz is not gonna be able to do weakest damage, but the other two can. Alright, we're getting another adventure and fall up attack right away. Love this hit. Topaz fall up attack. Actually, just gonna go ahead and throw this out. I'm not gonna use the Robin Alt yet, as you do see, we have characters coming up right here in a sec. No weakness break on it yet. Very unlucky. We can go ahead and probably just kill this guy in the middle. Weakness break him. Now, let's go ahead and get this guy out of the picture. Off the Alt, so it's my turn again. Cause you know when you're using a fall attack team, when is it when is it not your turn? So you can see the damage output very very high, even if I'm not critting. Cause you know why would I crit? To be fair, my characters besides Topaz are on the lower side of crit rate, anyways. Same thing for here. I'm going to go ahead and pop this on Kokolia while I attack the other one. Oh, I kind of hope that attack Kakoya. That's eh, fine. Alright. We almost get the alt back on Aventure in. With this, we'll get the fall attack and the alt. Ratio fall attack. This is probably going to hit the dinosaur thing. Or T Rex, whatever the hell that is. Nice. Nice. Very, very good damage output. Yeah, this team is so fun. Alright, the Robin buff actually does go ahead and run out here. Oh, the AoE, you love to see it. Absolutely rolled. Get the enhance off for Numbi. Cooking. 
And this probably won't kill. Yeah, close. Why not? All right, guess not. All right, well, let's go to Venturin. Sadly, that does mean I'm going to have to do this. But I will save you guys the pleasure of watching Akron. Or displeasure, I should say. Now the goat fighting the goat. I didn't pay attention to anything that was happening during that run of using Akron because I was just watching Monster on the side anyways. So, yeah. That'll be Flop Attack. See, the damage output of this team is just stupidly high. Girl on the left should be dead. Yep. I forget this guy like summons things. It's been a minute since I like paid attention to fighting this guy. Oh yeah, W A Ways. W A Ways. I love A Ways. Oh, I should say I love getting hit by A Ways. Actually, go ahead and wait to do that for obvious reasons. Break, follow-up attack into follow-up attack, negative crit ratio. Alright, W. Now here. It's not like nothing crazy is going to happen in this beginning. So I'm not going to bother using Robin Alt. Let me get that off, into this fall up attack, into another fall up attack. Nothing crit there, anti-crit, I love this game. Alright. Big damage output. Nice. The damage. Oh, pure damage. I don't want to do this for all for one, so I'm actually- or all for one. All or nothing. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this now. Boom. Now we get the fall attack right away. Damage taken, you love to see it. Another fall attack, you love to see it. Alright, so this gets a little annoying because, as you do know, everyone here is practically single target except Aventurian's fall up attack. So, it literally just is do whatever at this point. You could sort of get it with the fall up attacks like that, but, you know, I'll just play it safe and do this. I don't really need to bother if I'm gonna be able to take the hit, anyways. Wow, three of them are getting hit. All or nothing. Yeah, I got my own all or nothing. What's up? Into my all. What's up? Aventurian can't handle the power of Aventurian. Yeah, what's up? Go ahead and do this with a refresh. And you're probably dead. And just like that is adventure in. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll cut the prefiction now. All right, for the MLC run, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this same team with the first buff, obviously, because Bob attacks galore on this team. What I'm going to do is the first one, I'm just going to do it manually, and the second one, I'm going to do auto, just to showcase both of them work. So, let's get into it. Alrighty. First one with the manual. It's honestly not going to change that much, but... We move. Anything goes in this mode. Oh, sheesh. The crit. Yeah, I don't know why my game bugs out like that a lot, but... What can I do? W. Now just two left. No reason to use it just yet. I 
That didn't kill, that's so tragic. Yeah, I could just do this. Will we get the seven? The four. Sadly, it was not enough. This was, though. Okay, I don't have a reason to use it just yet. Yeah, honestly, I'm just gonna do it anyways. I feel like if I'm gonna have the mindset of I don't have the time to use it yet, or I don't have a need to use it yet, it's just gonna be that for the entire time. I never have a reason to use it at this point. Hmm. Well, Trotter. Hit of intrude. Aw, oh, man. Now it doesn't matter. Alrighty, let's pop this on Brony right away. Why not? Oh, if that's lower and another one. Just wiggling down Brony at this point. Actually, just gonna go ahead and just start hitting other people because. 50% is probably enough to just do it passively. Maybe not. Actually, I'll keep going until she's like practically dead. Uh, like that. Uh, like that's practically enough. Jesus! <laughs> that looks so funny. Alright, but I'll like, get rid of the Robin all sadly. I don't need a skill just yet, but might as well. They are all targeted on her. That's so funny to see. Now we can do this. Sadly, that won't. Oh, this should proc the adventure. Yep. All right, that's who. Yeah, W. Oh, you're dead. Oh, there's one enemy alive. Ain't no way. Nah, nah. You saw that. Ain't no way. It knocked a chain down, so it's not gonna get the full score. That is so tragic. Oh my god. Ah, oh, whatever. That didn't kill, right? It didn't. Alright, you know what? Whatever. That's so st OH! The clutch! <laughs> clutch! <laughs> I probably could have made that a little better overall, but like, you know, whatever. Anyway, let me cut to the auto version.
Don't you just love auto? Yeah, so it just kept attacking Bronia. It didn't spread out the damage at all, so it just didn't do anything. Anyway, now we're here with this one. Let's go. Anyway, so... However this goes, probably will be good. I don't... Okay, I guess we got over 30k with the last team. I, I honestly just hit auto on that, and I went back to watching Monster because I don't want to use Zacron. But, 30k is good enough. W, just wipe everyone. Ah, oh, some annoying ones. I hate these enemies here, bro. Bob attack, just kill them all! Damn, it's so close. Pop the shield. Cringe. I'm gonna wait to pop this before the second half starts or something. W. Wait, that bite! Okay, then I'll know You think the book slap kills? Damn it. <laughs> Let's finally get this off. And then the fall up attack. Nice. Good damage. War at home? I don't know what the hell that achievement is. Bop. I'll do that into this. Throw this out while I'm at it. No fall attack surge. Let this thing blow up. Oh, it doesn't like. Oh, this would. Never mind. Okay. God, there's so many of these damn trans or energy draining guys. Don't know what the hell they're actually called. Yeah, you proc that thing with no tomorrow like, on this team. This team is so funny. Gotta pop this on Sam now. Did that just, like, do the same amount of damage? Look like the physical hit and the- or the hit on Dr. Rachel's shock. And that did the same damage and it was mad confusing. Sav's already down that much HP. Let's keep wiggling him down while we're at it. Except for the adventure and all, but it'll talk down anyone. W fall attack. Not on this guy. Did I have to refresh that? They can all attack him in here, that'd be really, really cool. Nice. They are locked on. Nice. W A we Sam. Or we're getting this guy down, I guess. Can lose HP, that don't matter. How many the mini like Flying ones are there, I actually don't remember. What the hell? That looked like that looked mad weird. A game like bug there or something. There's no point in hitting Sam, so I just throw this on one of these guys. No fall attack. Oh, I got that I guess. You get to kill with Topaz. Oh, I don't get to kill with like one of these two. Die. Damn, that did okay. Well. You score on that, I guess, but now let me do the auto one.
and that is the best fall off team in Hawkeye Star. As you see, the sheer amount of fall off attacks, the sheer amount of everything, Robin's team wide action forward to provide more fall off attacks, get more energy, all that kind of stuff, everything plays really, really well together. This team is absolutely insane. So let me know if you guys are running this team, or are you running some sort of alternative variant? Are you doing something like Topaz Adventure and Robin with Clara? Or something like Ratio Adventure and Clara Robin? Are you changing something with Himiko? Let me know what you guys are running. Let me know if you guys are using Robin, because Robin makes this team a lot better. And yep, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching. Peace out.